But why? You know what? Just, just, just cue the intro. What's going on? What's good? It's your boy Christopher Wright back here again with another video. Lock E's Lock X. Welcome back to the channel once more. Lock Me Nation, stand up and please rise. Because we have arrived and we are locked. And man, as you can tell in the title of the video. And the way I feel in the beginning, you already know what we're talking about. But this irks me. This irks me a lot. But we're going to get into it. But why, Dr. Berg? Why, Dr. Berg? Why, Dr. Berg? Why? Why, man? Why? So like you've seen in the title... This video is pertaining to Dr. Burr's hair formula. The Dr. Burr hair formula ingredient change and updates. So I will be going over that in the video. And guys, before we begin, I must tell you, please stay to the end of the video. Stay to the end of the video to get all of the details that you're going to need to know um, that I'm going to provide you through this entire video. So please stay to the end of the video. Um, but before we begin, you know, I got to get you guys, if you're new to the channel and if you're reoccurring, please hit that subscribe button right now as we speak. Please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure that notification bell is not on personalized, but it's on all and it looks like this. So make sure we do that. Make sure we give this video a thumbs up. If you like me to update you on what's going on and keep you current on the current events far as products, locks, things of that nature, keep giving me those thumbs up, hitting that thumbs up so we can get this out to the masses. Continue to put the stamp of likes on these videos because guys, it costs you nothing. It's totally free. Then also, I want you to share this video. This may be of value too. So please share this video to anybody, friends, family, whoever. That need this information who have actually dove in uh, to the title of this video and so make sure you leave in the comment section if you hate when companies do this if you totally hate what companies do this please leave in the comment section below please and I know I'm gonna have a lot of people to relate because this irks me. This it just irks me a lot. Let's dive right into the information right away. I don't want to prolong you at all. So let's dive right into it. So as we all know, I've been promoting a huge product that has been making a difference to me as far as hair loss, traction alopecia, because that's what I have and that's what I've been dealing with. So I've been promoting a product that has actually made a 360 change for me. And so... When you commit to a product like that, who's actually made some changes in, uh, in your lifestyle, you kind of stick to it. You kind of stick to it and you stay committed to it, especially if it's doing a good thing and it's working. You know, it's doing its job. It's counteracting uh, uh, traction alopecia and, you know what I'm saying, and it's, and it's increasing the hair growth. It's making my hair healthy, me healthy. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the things that it contains, uh, the ingredients that it contains. So you already know, like, I've been sticking with it. Now, I show you this bottle. And like I said, I know it's backwards, but I'm going to put my pictures up here. But now I want you to study the differences in between the two bottles. 
study the differences in between the two bottles. This is what I have been using consistently month in and month out. This is what I've been using consistently. And so now this is what the other bottle looked like. Huge change, right? Huge difference. So you would say, Chris, so what's the change? What's the difference? Outside of the, the imagery, the uh, the printing, the color difference on the bottle. But guys, the problem is not in the imagery, the printing, the graphics on the bottle. The problem is in the ingredients. And this is what kills me and irks me about companies. Now, I understand you have different, you know what I'm saying? When you get a supply or resource of certain things that you use inside your products, and for some odd reason, things change, things get canceled, you know, and, and you start working with that company and you try to search out other resources. That's cool. I understand that. But when you put a product out on the market and it's been out there for a long time, and I don't know if you got the feedback that you wanted or the information that you wanted back. Like, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It's been, you know, I don't understand that concept. I mean, I get what's going on, but you make heavy changes to a product because you don't know the lives that it may have changed already. And some people just not out there of voicing their opinion or you're not even searching for their opinion in the first place. But if you start searching for that stuff, you will understand and see that people actually enjoy the product because obviously you enjoy the product because you're making sales. Money is coming in. You know what I'm saying? Money is coming in. So um, this is not to like bash or rant. This is just trying to understand. This video is here to understand. And, you know, and I got to keep my I got to keep my lockies and locket. Updated. I gotta keep my people, my YouTuber, my subscribers updated. I gotta keep y'all updated. You know, like I said, I wanna be transparent. And and I wanna be upfront with you. And I wanna be, you know what I'm saying, on par and on, on different current events that needs to be addressed. And so I want to address this and I hope this message get out to Dr. Berg and his company, whoever. But you had a good product going the way it was. And I've seen this happen over a bunch of companies a million times over you start using a certain thing and they just they either do away with it or they try to upgrade it you know what I'm saying or they slightly hold back certain things on it on like especially if it's a product you know what I'm saying that you use topically internally whatever you know what I'm saying they hold back certain ingredients and, and dumb it down a little bit man that irks me that irks me you know, it really hit me, man, because it's like, dang, I understand, like, like, I get it. I understand on the company side, being a boss, I understand that. Believe me, I'm a boss myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm a CEO myself. I understand what, you know what I'm saying, what you, what you have to go through. I've been in those, those shoes. I've worked at retail. You know what I'm saying? I've been a manager. I've done all kind of stuff like that. So I understand what you got to do. I totally understand that. And I know you got to innovate. You know, you got to keep your company fresh. I get it. But here's my thing. If you're going to make changes on a product, product that's already existing, but you're still making sales and income, guys, why not stay with that? Now, like I said, and I know certain vendors and, and manufacturers, they can get at the while, you know, they, they see the benefit in it. They try to throw those prices high up on you. You know what I'm saying? They try to market their prices high because they're like, shoot, we can get more money out of this person. They need us. We got what they need. We we got the true source. You know what I'm saying? And we're the only one that, that has this. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I know they can be pig-headed. And I know they can go for the gut. You know what I'm saying? When doing that, I understand that, that logic. You know what I'm saying? I understand the back end of it all. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking as far as consumer. Being a consumer, a buyer of the product, a person who committed to the product the way it is. You know what I'm saying? This is my issue. Just re just make a whole separate another product. Leave what's already out there. But don't wipe it completely everything. Don't wipe it all. You know, uh, but just 
just make a whole nother thing, like a whole nother product. Like, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't mess with the one that's already working. I know you're getting, I know you're getting uber amounts of feedback over this product. So don't mess with that. Don't tamper with that. Cause it's doing something. Like it's really doing something. And like I said, this goes across the board on a lot of companies. I hate committing to something. You know what I'm saying? And they end up all of a sudden pull back, dumb it down, or get rid of it completely. AKA Google. I got that video coming out. Y'all know I understand this is a lock channel, but I got that video coming out because I got to rant. I gotta let you I gotta let my people know, man, how I feel. You know what I mean? I don't get on here often, so I gotta let you know how I feel when I do. So I do have that video on the Google Play music. Like, to me, my person, I'm not gonna get into much of it, this video, but YouTube music to me is trash. It is point blank, but we're gonna get into that in another video. But these are still on the same lines, man. Something is good, stop touching it. You wanna have your hands in it so much. I totally understand, I get it. But like I said, this is not to bash. This is to wake people up. This is to wake the actual company up. Like, just to wake y'all up. I understand, like, you gotta do what you gotta do. I get it, it's business. It's business and everybody's gonna want that piece of the pie. I get it. But just, just keep the consumer in total, in total regards when dealing with, dealing with, you know what I'm saying, business decisions and stuff like that. And, and make sure you understand what's going on. Now, I will say with the Dr. Bird's hair formula uh, product that there has not been significant changes. The ingredients remain the same to a certain extent, and I will go over those. And so um, there's not a huge change. And I know it was seen like how I started it off that, you know, there's been like just dramatic change everywhere. But like I said, that's just my frustration with a lot of companies when you get committed to them. So that's what I'm running into. And, and I hate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the specs to see what I'm talking about. Like I said, the ingredients remain the same, but it's the dosage. And then there is one, one slight change uh, that was a trademark and now it's not um, that they use in a complex. But I'm gonna go over that right now. So Lockheed's Lock X and all of my, my, my special guests to this, to this video and this channel, if you feel what I'm saying, please give me that thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up right now as we speak. Hit that like button right now. So within the original formulation of the product, this is what you had. And I'm gonna put all the specs up here on the video so that way you know you know what's going on. Cause I'm gonna read it straight out the bottom. So first you had the calcium, which was a 2.5 milligram. Then you had the biotin, which is a thousand MCGs, which was a thousand uh, micrograms, which is one milligram. Then you had the hydrolyzed fish collagen, type one and type three, 700 milligrams. Then you had the nutritional yeast at 94 milligrams. And then you had concentrate AC, which was what I was talking about, the trademark that changed now into the complex, and you will see what I'm talking about when I get to the other bottle. The concentrate AC was at 50 milligrams. Then you had the horsetail powder at 50 milligrams. Then you had the stinging nettle at 50 milligrams. Then you had trochotinol and tocopherol complex from Evanol Max trademark at 10 milligrams steel with your two capsule servings and you know a 30 a 30 uh serving supply all in the original now i haven't purchased the other product yet but i will and in my conclusion i'll give all my details of what i'm going to do but with the new with the new and improved um any ingredients you still got your two capsule servings 30-day supply, K2 
calcium is at a 2.5. Biotin is at a thousand micrograms MCG. Um, hydrolyzed fish collagen type one and three is at a 20 milligram. Nutritional yeast is at 40 milligrams. Now the replacer of the Concentrace AC trademark brand complex, you now replace that with Trace Mineral Complex, which is 50 milligrams. Then you have the horsetail powder, which is at 400 milligrams. Stingy nettle, 50 milligrams. Titrochanol and the Tocopherol complex, you still have the Evanol Max at 10 milligrams. Now, I'm not sure what type of impact these ingredients are going to have on what was working already. You know, I haven't heard any, you know, um, I haven't heard any reviews on, uh, nor even looked up any reviews yet on uh, what been, people been saying about, you know what I'm saying, the old formulation with the new. So I, I don't know yet. I don't know what the significance is. But like I said, at the hydrolyzed fish collagen, type one and type three, it was 700 milligrams. Here it's 20. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. You know what I'm saying? In in fish collagen. And that's the almost top source of collagen you're getting out of type one and three. So you had a huge difference with the 700 milligrams to now 20. Come on, man. Then, which is great for B vitamins, you had the nutritional yeast at 94 milligrams. Now, in the new formulation, you got the... Uh, Nutritional yeast at 40 milligrams. What? <laughs> what are we doing here, man? That's a 50 milligram difference. Come on. Just what I'm saying. It just, it's, it's, it's weird. It just really irks me sometimes. Okay. So with the concentrate AC, you have 50 milligrams. And okay, the trace mineral complex is at 50 milligrams here. Okay, this is... The horsetail powder was 50 milligrams here in this formulation. Now, like I read before, the horsetail powder is at 400 milligrams. So what's the difference? Like what really changes and what gives you, you know, what, what gives you what? Cause you don't know what's the outlier of the product. I can only assume that, you know, dealing with traction alopecia, that it would be, you know what I'm saying? The stinging nettle because of the D, the natural DHT blocker. You know what I'm saying? So that's for me on a, on a, on a uh, traction alopecia part. But far as anybody else with normal hair loss, I don't know. You know, it might make a big significance with them on that. And we already know what horsetail is. It's, it's pretty much silica. You know, you could do your, you know, inducive research on that. But then you have the tocotrienol and the tocopherol complex still with the Evanol Max at 10 milligrams. And it stays the same over here. So all in all, it was probably like three things that changed on there. And I mean, come on. The hydrolyzed fish collagen at 700. And now you have dropped that down to 20. Wow. You know, I don't know. But to conclude, I'm going to be realistic with you. I enjoyed the product. I enjoy what it did and has been doing for me. I have been enjoying the product for the 90 days that I have been utilizing it and have been taking it religiously. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to continue with the Dr. Bird's hair formula uh, product. So when I do purchase the new formulation, you know I'm going to give you my feedback. You already know that. I'm going to keep you updated on that. And you know what I'm saying, and how I feel about it. But I think I'm gonna continue because the greet, like I said, the ingredients stay the same. It's the dosage that is what's shocking to me on three of the ingredients. And I want to know how major of an impact that made on the product itself. Um, so I will be 
updating that information and reviewing that product for you when I purchased that again. Um, I was just taking a little break. Normally when I do my month supply, I like to go ahead and, you know, uh, take a break, you know what I'm saying, take a couple weeks off to just rejuvenate everything, to allow my body to do things on its own. Um, and then I start the product up again. So that's why you get the video a little late, the way, you know what I'm saying, when you get it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that's my take on it. You know, I had to get that off my chest. I had, I had to update my people and let them know what was going on. So, so I don't want to discourage you from using the product. The product is still good. And if you haven't purchased it already, you might not know the difference and you might not see, you know what I'm saying, a huge difference. But like I said, I will be using the new formulation. So at the end of the day, I will be giving you that update and you, you know, I'll let you see the changes and see if you can see the dramatic changes as well. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still, you know, everything still, all the ingredients are still there. It's just the dosage. So I wouldn't say not go get it, you know. If you feel like, you know, I've been passionate about it, preaching about it, and you you want to see what it is, I mean, go for it. Go for it. It's still a good product. It's, you know, it like I said, I've, I've, I've dealt with the old formulation. If you haven't purchased it already, I dealt with the old formulation. And so the new one might be better for certain people. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 to me, it still looks like a good product. So I'm gonna continue to do that. So Lockheed's Lockettes and the Lock Me Nation, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to get up out of here. But before you leave here, you know you must hit that subscribe button. Punch that subscribe button for me. You know, Nate Robinson it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nate. I love you, bro. I love you. You got some work to do. But go ahead and hit that notification bell so you never miss a post of the video that I put out when I post. And make sure that it's not on just personalized, Make sure you click it on all and it look like this. Then go ahead and like the video. Shoot them thumbs up all day, every day. And share this video to all your friends and family and people who are interested in this product. And they want to know what's going on and they want to know my take on it. I have at least five videos pertaining to this product. So guys, you can share everything on my channel if you want to. Big help. It's all totally free. And then also leave in the comments section if you hate this about certain companies and if you experience this and you get so committed to a product and you just get aggravated, leave it all in the comment section. I'm willing to hear any and everything that you have to say and, you know, give you some good feedback on it. And we will we'll soak this thing up together. So uh, all my Lockies, Lockettes, the Lock Me Nation, please stand up and rise because we have arrived and we are locked always and with the mantra if god didn't make me special he didn't make me right like ease like it's i need to hear you a little bit louder please if god didn't make me special he didn't make me right yes so all my like ease like it's this is your boy chris and i have had fun with you guys so I will see you in the next video and I will sign out. Stay humble, stay true, stay love, spread love, and I'm out.